our stripy star of the show, Zach, our zebra eel. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? It's been a while since I've seen you. Oh, look at him swim around, you guys. Oh, I wonder if zebra eels will put up with having like multiple members of their community. Oh no, did I just pick him up? Zach, I'm so sorry. I was trying to learn more about you, friend. Uh, so he's really big. I think, I wonder if he'll allow another zebra eel to go in there. I kind of want to try. I can't remember how to do anything because I have actually been away for quite a while, my friends. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I've been lost at sea on a raft wandering the open ocean and collecting much trash and turning it into literally my survival in raft uh, and just in general I have been ridiculously busy with some personal things going on in my real life as you can check out in the community tab and as a result I haven't had a chance to pop in and see what's going on with a mega aquarium amongst many of our pixel biology adventures for quite a while so, I have no idea what I'm doing. I hardly remember how to even begin to do anything, but I'm really happy to be back because this is just charming. And honestly, after almost being eaten multiple times by a shark for the last few weeks, it's very refreshing to come in and like see that the fussiest thing I need to deal with is some really angry little guppies. I can deal with really angry little guppies. I think the dotty backs, are they the ones who are aggressive? I know I have somebody in here who would just love to like eat everybody else, but I can't remember who it is. But all right, so uh, let's try to figure out how to survive in our wonderful little aquarium instead of how to deal with a shark that is constantly chomping at my feet, uh, a la our raft adventures, by returning to mastering the wall tank. So apparently we want to build a tank that is three by three with any animal, sufficient water quality, sufficient heating, and that guests cannot access. So let's build ourselves a new wall. Let's go ahead and expand back here by quite a bit there we go and i think we're just gonna like expand this zone too and then let's put a wall in along here so that guests can't come over there and then i want a wall tank okay so then we need to remove these okay gotcha so let's remove this and then we're gonna build a wall tank over here. Ha ha! What do you think about that, friends? All right. And I don't know, hopefully it'll pick up the like heating and filtration, the combined filter, cause it's like right against the, the other combined filter. So fingers crossed there. Okay, and apparently I made it too big and it has to be a three by three size. Fine. Okay, we're gonna fix that. One, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. And let's put a wall in over here so that our guest won't fuss with things. Uh, and now I need, yay, a little staff door. Okay, we'll tuck it in the corner. And while we're over here, I saw that some people are getting a little tired. So we can put in some nice benches uh, for everybody to enjoy. There you go, friends. I wonder, oh, look at that. Nice. So now I figured out how to add in some bench. Oh, hey. Philip here is really happy to sit down and he thinks that our aquarium is clean and tidy. I appreciate that, Philip. I appreciate you. All right, so sufficient water quality, sufficient heating, and guests cannot access. Um, well, guests cannot access this. And now I guess I need to add in a fish. I have to remember how to do that. Here we go. All right. I kind of really want another moray eel because I think that would be amazing. We're really close to finishing up research on a coral grouper or a flame angelfish though. Huh. Are we gaining enough? I mean, I see some leaves going up, but I don't see any improvement on being able to research that fish. So let's add in another eel because I really love them. All right, any animal. Do we not have sufficient heating and water and everything on that? Oh dear. Uh, okay, okay. Let's add in a combined mini for this spot then. Sufficient water quality. Shouldn't that be sufficient heating? Oh man, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's been so long, quick. Okay, let's grab the, the small heater here. There we go. All right. Okay. The next stage of the aquarium's expansion is down to us. We need to find. We need to fund the expansion using ticket sales. So keep an eye on your cash flow. 
All right, so we need to go ahead and we need to earn a whole bunch of prestige and unlock some new animals and keep all of that going. Also, I wanna make our newest eel happy. So let's get a driftwood habitat in here for it. <gasps> yes, and we just unlocked the coral grouper, sweet. We've just unlocked the coral grouper. Take a look. The coral grouper has a couple care requirements you haven't seen before. They are greedy, which means they eat more and lower water quality more than other animals. They dislike conspecifics, con con which means that only one may be kept per tank. Oh, so they don't like each other, like hummingbirds. Man, I've never seen birds fight as much as the hummingbirds that come to the bird feeder at the same time. Oh boy. That is quite a noisy occasion. Finally, they may eat fish and crustaceans, which are smaller than itself. Hover over the warning icon to find out more. <gasps> Whoa! So any animals or crustaceans that are size one to, to two, it will eat when it's little. And when it's fully grown, anything one to three will dive into its mouth. Uh, well, how is our, how big is our newest zebra eel? They're a four size. And we're actually going to name this zebra Mori Eel after one of you guys, after Shira, who left a really sweet comment in our video. So thank you, Shira. Good to see you. I'm still kind of like wet behind the ears and I've got a lot of salt water all over me right now from hanging out with that shark over in Raft. But I'm glad that you can come and join us as we set up our little aquarium that we've got going. All right. So I think I want to put the coral grouper... If it's a zebra, can the mori eel, it'll eat anything that is size one to one. And when it's fully grown, it'll eat anything that is size one to three. The coral grouper ends up becoming a five to six. The amount of space, can I put it in here? Oh, I can, oh sweet. Okay, and now I need to add a little bit more water flow. Can I do that by making the tank a little bigger? observer tank what is an observer tank medium capacity three viewing sides well that's nice and everything but what if i literally just okay want to expand the normal tank oh that's right i think i click on it and drag it maybe okay can't figure that part out like i said what behind the ears but we'll get there friends let's add in another driftwood cave there and now they're both kind of happy Yay! Oh, and we got a little message. Coral grouper. Let's see. Over to you, coral grouper. What's this? Wall tanks. Zebra mori eel. I thought I, we had a little message. Messages. Over to... Oh, Zach has grown! <gasps> Zach has grown to size nine. As a result, Zach takes up additional space in their tank, eats more, and contributes more to lowering water quality. In addition, Zach can now eat tank mates up to size three, so be careful. <gasps> oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, and the water quality is kind of getting reduced for a lot of our animals. So I wonder if I can add in like another power filter or a little basic filter. Can I add in like two? Yeah, we can just add in two filters. There we go. Now we're talking, except I can't reach this one, but I think I can move the mini filter. <gasps> Sweet, and now we have a basic pump. All right, let's do the combined mini. Okay, tell me about that basic pump. Maybe that's exactly what we were looking for to like flush out this fish poop so we can really get going. Basic pump allows us to locate uh, equipment remotely from a tank for convenient access and to keep guests out of the way of, and to keep equipment out of the way of guests. So the pump, has a range of up to seven tiles away and it can connect up to one tank. So can I, here, let's move this filter really quickly first, right here. So I wanna scooch this over here. There we go. And then I think I need, don't wanna open up all those tanks. I wanna see what happens. Come on, my little technicians, get in here with me. Try out the basic pump. What do we want to use it on? Who knows? We can apparently put it like remotely from the tanks. Oh, nice! From the tanks we need. So maybe I could actually remove one of the filters. I mean, I guess I'll just leave it because I mean, it's working right now. Hi guys, look at you. I wonder if there's going to be a little bit more space so I could, I then I could technically try to add in more fish, but I think they would eat them. 
I guess I could add in another coral grouper over here. No, that's kind of small. All right, let's actually have the, the pump connect to... How do I convince this pump not to connect to that tank anymore? There we go. Will it improve this one's water quality? I hope so. I need to figure out how to make the tanks bigger. <laughs> That's, uh, maybe can I just... Increase tank. No. Platforms. Don't need platforms yet. We're getting closer on rewards. Let's try adding in another tank. And then we can do a pump to try to remotely connect to one of the tanks. I love it. All right, let's add in another tank over here. I might even make like a, a staff hallway down here where they can just come down. And then, in fact, I might do that because I kind of love the idea of having a staff hallway. Sort of sneak, 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 sneak. There's sneaky snake staff. There we go. And then we can go ahead and put in uh, a wall right there. Out, everybody, get out, stop, go away. You're in the wrong spot. I'm trying to put in some tanks. Oh, we have a new message. Okay, oh, and a corner tank. I should have been playing with the corner tank, but I was curious about what would happen if, oh no. Can I, can I please make this tank bigger? Eventually, I'm sure we'll figure out how to make the tanks bigger. For now, idea that, hang on. Aiden, come on, Aiden. I'm really glad you like the coral grouper. Trying to get more added in. You just need to get out of the way. There we go. All right, so we'll put that down. I am feeling it again. Heck, why is this so addicting? Come on, let's get these staff doors in here. There we go. We've got a big old wall so people won't even know. Oh, actually, they can kind of see down that, can't they? Maybe that's just us. We'll put this over here. Let's add on in, like, hmm, orange muscle dispenser. What do you guys need? What do you eat? Coral grouper. Mussels. So we need some mussels. And then we also need mussels and mussels for the coral grouper and for any of our other ones. So let's put in a muscle dispenser right over here. And then maybe a, we're going to definitely want the power heater combined mini right here. And then I wonder if I'm gonna need another power filter. We'll check that out in just a second. But all right, come on, we're so close. I need more prestige. Let's really get in here. I want more prestige. Also, what's my new message? Flame angelfish. You have unlocked the flame angelfish. The flame angelfish dislikes conspifix, ugh, which means only one may be kept per tank. It also grows up to three and it may eat or damage stony corals, clams. Oh my gosh. So it'll actually like eat some of the decorations. That is so interesting. And I guess that's all the fish we can unlock for now. So that makes me want to add in. Let's get a flame angel fish in here. Like why the heck not? The water temperature is too low. So we need to, I could have sworn the combined mini was supposed to do heating as well, but it doesn't seem to bother with it at all. So I think I'm actually gonna get rid of the combined mini and just use a more powerful filter. Okay, let's come in here, get rid of that. And then let's get just a power filter over here. There we go. Oh, now we have the power combo. Are you kidding me? Literally as I was complaining about that, boom. Now we've got the pumps going on. Oh, look at that. Now we need to master the pump. Oh my gosh. And now we need to make an, a, a lagoon tank. How do you, the heck do you build a lagoon tank? Oh, look at that. Oh, a lagoon tank. I get it. So the guests can walk around and see it inside. All right, we'll put that over there and then we'll add in like a secret, secret little pump ball room. Yeah, let's put this down here. And then let's get fancy secret pump action going. All right, we'll put it over here, connect it to this. We can put some pretty cute little azure things in there in just a second. Uh-oh, water temperature is too low. Hang in there, guy, I'm coming. Oh my gosh, I don't want him to die. Quickly, friends. Let's do the power combo. No, come back. Power combo. Boom. 
Okay, phew, now that is finally taken care of for that fish. And this fish actually wants like some, some greenery in here. I approve of that little one. All right, yay, and now people are happy about that. Okay, so we've got that guy. And I think I wanna come in and add in another one of the eels, because I love those eels. And then I also wanna add in the coral grouper. There we go. Look at all that room we've got for multiple fish. That's so fine. I just need to add in another little hidey spot for them. Man, this is so addicting. Heck, let's get some eel grass in here because we've got some eels hanging out in the eel grass. Eh? Eh? Oh, cute. I love them. Cute. Okay, we have to continue our work though, friends. So we need to do Master of the Pump with the lagoon. Oh, and I have two messages. Coral grouper one has grown. As a result, coral grouper one takes up additional space in the tank, eats more, contributes to lowering water quality, and will eat any fish tank mates up to size three. So be careful. Oh, they might be able to eat each other. Wait, no, 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 because they grow to size nine. Okay, we're good. And Sahara, our zebra eel has grown, yes. Oh, I'm very excited about that. Let's get some little azure dam damselfish who are really nice and calm and don't really want a lot out of life over here. Um, or how about the, you know what? Can I do the orchids and the azure damselfish? Maybe, let's try an orchid. Okay, I can have an orchid. I can have an orchid. Uh, uh oh, okay. Oh no, oh no, everyone's upset. The tank is not heated. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Power heater. I wish that the pump... Okay, now I have to have the power heater of all things. <laughs> all right, there's sufficient heating, right? Enough equipment so that the heating in the tank is met. Uh, I thought I did. And then everyone's still upset because the tank quality is low. But that's what the pump is for, right? Do I need more than one pump? Come on! Allows you to locate your equipment remotely to keep... Okay, the basic pump allows you... Oh, wait, 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 I think I understand. Okay, so you put it over here. Oh, gotcha. And power filter. Okay. Ha ha! We figured it out, friends! And now the guests are getting thirsty and I have made a blockade by accident over here. What a very beautiful, chaotic mess we have just created. However, let's get some more food for our fish fish because they're gonna be hungry little fish soon. Let's get an orange pellet dispenser over here too. Actually, I needed a green one. That's fine. We'll just do a whole bunch of them. It's not gonna hurt anything at this point. Uh, I think I need to hire more staff because I feel like we've got a big bump in place going on. So let's see, precision, let's hire Ulrika. I wonder if I'm able to, where's Ulrika? Can I rename her? <gasps> I can! Oh my gosh, I wish I could name her after one of you guys. Oh geez, okay, hang on. I'm gonna see if I can pull up the random comments generator. And this is actually going here we go. This is going to be Peyton. Peyton, welcome. Welcome. You are an aquarist and you are fixing things. We definitely needed more staff because this is definitely getting a little, a little bit busy in here. Uh, all right. So now we need to buy some vending machines to make people happy. This is awesome. I love making people happy. Okay. Totally renewable plastic resources only here. There we go, got some vending machines so people can go ahead and eat. Very nice. What else can I add to our little orchid dotty backs? Oh, hey, we just got a prestige drink. Yay! <gasps> what? We can have help now? And Rocky Overhangs, and there is a fish called a fox, fa fox face rabbit fish and a reef squirrel fish and a hermit crab and a cowfish. Are you kidding me? Let's go, let's go. Crabs and more. Congratulations on, ranking, on reaching rank four. Among the new animals you can unlock at this rank are the first crustaceans. This blue knuckle hermit crab is a great support animal because it, because it doesn't need any feeding and actually provides additional filtering. You now have your final objective. You may also receive additional objectives from third parties. In return, fulfilling, fulfilling certain requirements, they'll offer you a reward. It's completely up to you if you want to comply with the request, but you may find it easier to meet your objectives if you do. You guys! 
Okay, let's go ahead and work on getting a large filter in here. And I am researching the heck out of that hermit crab. I want that hermit crab. And we're gonna put it right in the lagoon tank, right there. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> oh my gosh, but all right, I'm, 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 you know what? Fresh out of the water again, I'm feeling it. I need to start naming everybody after you guys from staff to fish and hoping that y'all won't eat each other. It, it may be a little bit of a fish eat fish world in here. We will continue to make a chaotic mess out of all this and build our way up so that eventually we will be able to add in sharks, anacondas, dugongs, and so much more and discover more about the wonders of the natural oceanic world. So if you guys could do please leave a like for Zach and all of our other new like Shia, Sierra, I need to name who is it gonna be? Leave a like and leave a comment if you would like to become the next of our wonderful zebrafish and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye